Welcome back to Robin's Nest. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Sorry for the delay. You want to say hi, Cameron? Hi. What we got going on is a lot of chaos going on. And, and we bagels. <laughs> and we have been slowly getting stuff together and getting stuff done. And we've had a really, really, really mild winter. And there are the stupid geese. And here we go. Adrian, why don't you get on up? You want to show everybody around? Open the door. And we have got a special treat for the birds today. There we go. Thank you, big helper. Show everybody around in here how it's going. All right, buddy. Hold the door open for me. The birds today are getting a treat of bagels. Who wants to go first? Okay, Adrian, you come get bagels first. Rip them in half. And start throwing them to the stupid geese. Yeah, you can close the door. You got to rip them in half, though. There you go. The geese are over there. Throw them over there. Come on. Can you throw it by the tree? Throw them by the tree right there. Your aim's really bad. The tree. There you go. They like these trees, don't they? Don't worry, everybody. We do this about once a week. It's a nice treat for everybody. And these are uh, whole grain bagels with lots of yummies on them from a local bagel, ma bagel maker. So we're just showing you a little bit. And I'm going to take a couple bags of them and put them in a feeder on the inside. Oh, oh there's the Robin's Nester. How you doing? You want to hold on to the camera, and I'll grab them. Can I, can I eat a bagel? No, you may not eat these. <laughs> now, while a lot of them are outside, we're gonna go inside and fill up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> They're not stupid. <laughs> Look at all the sunflower bits. I love that stuff. <laughs> There's a couple bags. Let me take a tour around, show everybody the birds as I bring in more of the bagels. Alrighty, there's Tutu, our silly turkey, and Bagel, the other turkey. Oh goodness. That one over there is an Americana. We just got him recently from some friends. They had about a dozen chickens that they were getting rid of, so we took them in for them. These little gals down here are also Americanas, and they came with them. <laughs> and they're enjoying the bagel. Notice who's on top of the pile? <laughs> yeah. Can you bring over the phone? I want to talk. I want to talk about something real quick. 
we picked up, we had just picked up quite recently 20 chickens from someone who didn't want to take care of them anymore. And we were warned that, well, to put it bluntly, they were jerks. They would keep attacking people, and they were kept in very, very small corn quarters. This is one of the roosters that was attacking everyone. We got him here to our big field in our big coop, and he's an absolute sweetheart. <laughs> he literally is a sweetheart. Now watch him attack us. He's so vicious. He follows us around. He will sit up on the boys. He eats from our... He's cooing and <laughs> chuckling. This is important to everybody who has chickens especially. They need to be in a big enough space with enough space that they don't go vicious. They don't have to fight for space. Fight for space, fight to breathe, fight for food. And this little guy will sit on our five-year-old's shoulder all day long. <laughs> we actually had trouble a few days ago cleaning the coop because he was kept getting underneath our feet trying to pick up. The other three are turning out the same way. They're, they're just as nice and gentle. Now, I do think this is a bantam black cochin. We don't know. They didn't know. But if anyone knows, you can let me know. <laughs> I'd be interesting to hear people's opinions on that. But why don't you go ahead and put you down so I can get the rest of the... Yeah, he's vicious. <laughs> bagel. <laughs> yeah, I was telling that there's Bagel. We named him Bagel because of the gentleman who brings us these bagels. We uh, kept a turkey for him. And uh, so we call him Bagel. And that one there, of course. That's Bob. That there's uh, Choo Choo the other turkey. He is the Tom that we saved out of our group that we raised, and he's huge. He's probably, what, 40 pounds? Yeah. I hurt myself picking him up. He's big. Hello, Bob. That's Bob right there with the smooth, uh, I don't remember what that's called on top of his head. There's Goldie, the other black jersey giant rooster. One of. We have a few of them. <laughs> There's Barry, the barred rock rooster. They're some vicious birds. They like their treats. Oh, there's Lucky the rooster. Right there with the green band on his leg. <laughs> I can't believe how our Americana roosters are getting so beautiful. They are gorgeous. Hey. Driving this nuts at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> did you show everybody the roof? I did not. I this didn't think about it. This is actually working. <laughs> I'm going to come right over here to the doorway so I can look down the whole way. But yeah, for those of us, those of you who watched our video while we were building this, this is, this, it's holding up amazing. It's doing really well. We've had a few scratches where the roosters have gotten up there, or well, the chickens, you know, the hens and the roosters. But for the most part, it's been great. It's a little cool in here right now, but it's not freezing. Now, granted, it's a nice day, and we do have heat lamps for at night for when it gets a little colder. 
but they've all been doing great. <laughs> you guys are something else. <laughs> No sneaking out. You guys want out? Go out the other way. You pretty girls. Yeah, pretty girls. Pretty, pretty Americanos. That there is a barred rock rooster. He kind of snuck past us. We had only planned on keeping one. But uh, he was a little bit of a late bloomer, so we didn't realize he was a rooster until we'd already auctioned off all the others. But he's been a pretty decent one. He doesn't have a name. He's just the, he's the spare bar rock rooster. We got about that same amount I just put in barrels. Oh, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> it has been, uh, we actually did discover one tiny problem. We need to get better ventilation in here in the winter. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's too waterproof, <laughs> um, and the condensation in the muck from the chicken's breath and poop, it uh, gets a little damp in here. It's ironic. And the well, one of the funny things, I don't know if you pointed this out or not, they love hanging out oh, in the, the tunnel. They love the gap. They'll roost in there if they can overnight. It, it's quite humorous. Now, who's coming down here to me now? Oh, this is one of our new chickens, too. It's one of the new ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and there's Crip. He's the new rooster that we just... One of the other new roosters. He is... Feet are very very deformed and it's from being in uh, too small too small of a space but he's beautiful he absolutely gorgeous. beautiful and uh, the chickens that we were warned about being jerks this is one of the other ones this is a white but she's not flighty she did eat yesterday from my hand so it was nice Yes, girl. You think I got food again? <laughs> but she's good. We're chicken whispers. But all in all, things have been going okay. It's been a little stressful. We've discovered mistakes we've made along the way and switching gears and Oh my goodness, we got a lot of eggs last night. <laughs> yeah, oh my. Yeah, there's a pile three times that size over there. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Okay, why did we bother having 30 <laughs> coops when they all lay them in two boxes? <laughs> we haven't even checked them ones yet. But, uh. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, it's okay, Mama. <laughs> Oh, jeez. They love picking the snow off of us. But uh, all in all, it's been an interesting year. We've come full circle, and now we're switching gears from eggs to actually raising chickens for market. So it should be an interesting experience as we shift gears. And, and here's Crypt, as you can see. We call him Crip because he looks really crippled, but he's doing a lot better since he's been here. That's what happens when you have them in a cage and they never get cleaned out and they never get space. Just deformed up feet. But now that he's been here and has had a couple acres to run around on, he's been doing really good, building up his energy. He gets around well, too. Yes, and he really loves our hens. <laughs> Well, we're not even going to start about that conversation yet. On a side note, we are already getting geese eggs, too. In the past three weeks, we've gotten like eight goose eggs. Yep, yep. So, I don't know if it's 
because it's a goofy winter here in Michigan. It's very warm this year for winter. We're like eight degrees above average normal. Well, it's like raining right now. But hopefully we're on the downside and we got a lot of work to plan to shift gears. We're look we're looking at two, three thousand chicks here. So we've got a lot to work. Yeah, cement floor. <laughs> Definitely a cement floor. But uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, why don't we go outside and... Okay. I came in out here so the boys can say bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Oh, hang on. We got a... Oh, we got a... We got a escapist. By the way, that is a black sex link hen. All right, get out. All right, why don't you say bye-bye from Robin's Nest. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. See you a little bit later. Bye. Bye, everybody. Oh, by the way, everybody, stupid geese are doing good. <laughs> bye, everybody.